Grid layout is useful for positioning elements in a table like structure. In a bookshelf, for example, books can easily be arranged using grid. This concept is also applied in CSS to position elements using grid layout. Hey there, tech buddies, welcome back to IMS Coding. So, in this today's video, we will explore CSS grid layout. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So here in Visual Studio Code, let's create a new HTML file named grid layout CSS dot HTML. Now get a basic HTML syntax using a doc keyword and then inside body I'm going to create or do with a class called container. After that, inside this view, let's create some child divs with a class called item and uh, let's create six divs here. Okay, now let's add the index inside the items. So this is four. 5 and the last one is 6. Perfect. Now it's time to write the CSS. So here after the head tag, I'm adding style tag and inside it we can write our CSS. So first, let's target the container class. Now inside curly braces, set the display property to grid. So in our previous video, we saw about flex. So like that, here we have grid layout. Now let's change the background color of container to blue and let's set the width to 100 with a blue. Also, let's target item glass and I'm setting the width to 10 with a blue and the height and adding the height of 10 vh. Let's change the background color to Red. Now let's preview this. Right click here and click on show preview option. After that, in the right side, you will be able to see this page. Now, here in container, I'm adding grid template columns. And then here we can specify how many columns we want. So let's say I want three columns. So the first column should be of 40 pixel then the second column is around of 100 pixel and the last column is of 150 pixel so here we have three columns let's increase the uh, let's increase the 40 pixel to 100 pixel okay perfect now here uh, i want some gap between these rows and columns so here i'm adding a property called gap and setting it to 10 pixel so focus here in the page you can see the items is automatically arranged by our grid layout we can also specify how many rows we want so let's add grid template rows and here i want three rows so the first should be of 100 pixel then let's add a second row and let's set the last row okay so here you can see we have total three rows here now let's increase the items okay so see in this page the next item is automatically added in our third row so here we have total three rows and three columns and we can also specify the row gap and column gap separately. So for example, let first let's remove this gap property from here. And now I want the column gap of around 50 pixel and then the row gap of 100 pixel. So see here, we can also add the column gap and row gap separately. So that's it for today's video. I don't want to make this video confusing. 
This is just a starter video of CSS grid layout. We will see more about it in our next video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want the source code, then please do check out in the description. This video is a part of our HTML and CSS beginners guide course. So please do check out our playlist. Like this video, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding everyone.